Hey guys, hope that uh, everyone is doing good on this uh, nice and warm fall evening. Uh, I wanted to take a few minutes to demonstrate another way to use the schedules within Metasys. What we're actually going to do in this video is demonstrate how you can use schedules to set up your system for equal run time. So if you have a uh, set of pumps uh, that are configured for lead lag, and you periodically rotate those to equalize the runtime. Uh, this video is going to show you how you can automate that by using the schedule objects within Metasys. Okay, guys, here is the chill water system that we're going to be working with. You can see that we have two condenser pumps, two primary pumps, and then a secondary pump. We are going to use the schedules within Metasys to set up the equalized runtime for the primary pumps as well as the condenser pumps. Uh, this is something that can help your equipment, uh, you know, rotating those pumps regularly. You can use this for many things. If you're, if you wanted to rotate chillers, if you wanted to rotate boiler, just whatever, you know, hot water pumps, this is a great way of doing it. You can see here we have our lead lag for this. I'm actually going to flip this into lead. And what you're going to see is this pump command has just come on and the other one has gone off. Now what we're going to do is actually use the schedules to set this up to do this automatically for us. If, you, uh, if you've been involved in, uh, you know, building automation and that stuff for a while, maintenance, facilities maintenance, you know that one of the worst things that you can do is to let your pumps set for a long period of time. It's hard on those seals. It uh, you know just does not do well. So what we're going to do is we're going to insert an object, and from our pop-up window here, we are going to select Schedule, and we are going to put this in the Chilled Water System folder, and we're going to give this a name. We'll just call it something that's related to what it does. Condenser equal runtime, uh, or just something whatever you are doing in your system. You know, relate your schedule to uh, whatever it is that you're doing. It makes it easier to come back and troubleshoot. I'm going to go on through here and finish creating this object, and then we will go back and edit it. This is our first one. This is the one for our condenser pump. We are also going to go in and set up one for our primary pump as well. So once again, the folder is already highlighted. I'm going to insert an object. I'm going to go down, select Schedule once again. Hit Next. I'm going to hit Next again because that's where we're going to put it. And I'm going to give this a name. And this is going to be the chill water pump equal runtime and you can see here that uh, once again I'm limited on the amount of space that I can use for a name and the system tells me I can't do that so I've got to back up delete all that out and shorten it up just a bit so we're just going to abbreviate it chill water pump equal runtime something simple something straightforward you know something that we would be able to come back to and modify if necessary once again, just go through it to complete it all. It's something that I like to do. You can set them up from the configuration window when you're setting them up, but I like to go ahead and create them and then add in everything. Here is our brand new out-of-box out of the box schedule. I'm going to hit edit. I'm going to go into the scheduled items uh, section of the schedule. I'm going to hit the plus sign, and then I'm going to drill down into my system and actually find that lead lag point uh, within the chill water system, and that's what we're going to bind the schedule to. So we just simply drill down, go into the particular controller, go all the way down, to the point that you wish to link it to and right here we are we have both of those you can put both of them under one schedule but I'm going to build two schedules for this uh, that way if for any reason we needed to modify it and uh, leave one running opposite of the other or whatever now I'm going to go to the exceptions tab and this is where we're going to set up our schedule. We want to leave this to uh, the current just default settings. We want to make sure that it is in release mode when there is nothing scheduled. Uh, we have a lot of options here. We can go month, 
a day of week. I mean, there is a lot of functionality between these. Uh, you know, you can see here just some of the options that we have. You know, if we wanted to have this to execute on the first or second week of the month, or just however we would want to do it. Um, you know, the on Tuesday or Monday or Friday or just whenever you wanted it to. You've got a lot of options. Uh, you could tie it to a calendar if you wanted to. You know, there's another way of doing it. You can set up a date range. Uh, there's just a lot of options within these schedules. But what we're going to do, we're simply going to click date. I'm setting the month to any. And then the day is going to be the first because I want this to happen the first of every month. Uh, we're going to set these up to rotate once uh, or twice a month, uh, which you can set this also to do odd months, even months, that sort of thing. Now, on the here is our first one. We have it set up for the first of the month, and we're going to have it simply set up to switch to lead during the first of every month. Now then, we're going to go back into this. We're going to select date again. We're going to select the month to any. We're going to select the day to the 15th of every month. And, of course, we're going to set the year to any also. And we hit OK there. Now, on the 15th of the month, what we will do, we hit our plus sign to add this in. We switch that to lag. And we hit OK. And that way, on the 15th of every month, it will switch to the lag pump. Here's first. And once it's, uh, you know, it goes to the lead, the first of every month, and then on the 15th, back to lag. It's a very simple way of doing it. Uh, rotating these pumps twice a month, you can set it up to where it's even in odd months, like I've mentioned before. But this is a very effective way to automatically rotate your pumps. Here we are on the primary pump schedule, kind of the same principle. We drill down under our selected item schedule. We hit the lead lag switch, we bring that in, and we have now bound that to the primary pumps. And going once again, setting this to any for the month, leave that on the first, and leave this to any also as far as the year. We hit OK, and we hit the plus sign, set that to lead, go right back again, uh, setting these back to any. It's just a little bit repetitive, but it automates it. You know, you follow these steps, and it's a real good way to autom automate the system to save you a little trouble of having to do this manually. And here we have the lag portion of it set up as well. So, once again, great way to automate your system. Let the computer do the work. Let the technology do what it's designed to do and make our lives a little easier when doing this type of work. Guys, hope you liked the video. I would appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up. Also, leave me any comments down below. Be sure to subscribe, and thanks for watching.